you did mention being interested in, you know, trying out different tech with making this distro. And one of those things is with the the way the package manager works, which I didn't know about this until I was look, like reading more into vanilla OS, but tell people about, is it Apex? APX? How do you say the name? Apex. Apex, okay. That is a really interesting, a really interesting idea and sort of only can exist because of the work that Luca has also done over on uh, over on Distrobox. Um, just give a brief overview of what this package manager is. Uh, Apex uh, is not a conventional package manager mm -hmm. because it is not a really a package manager. Uh, it is a wrapper for Distrobox, mm -hmm. and uh, it is started by Luca Di Maio, the developer of Distrobox. Um, it is a a manager of containers. So you can use Apex, the command line, to install packages from Fedora, Ubuntu, uh, our repositories, and Alpine now. We introduced it some time ago, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is that uh, when you install a package, you don't install it in the in vanilla OS, but you install it in a container which is located in your home directory. So when you install it, it does not change anything in your system. Mm. Just uh, place some files in your home directory. And thanks to the big work that uh, Luca Di Maio made with Distrobox, everything just works. Everything is just integrated with the, the, the system. So audio, uh, sound, uh, video, everything ju just works. Like I'm using a Steam uh, to play some games mm -hmm. inside an Apex container. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I didn't try it with anything like that, but that's really cool that that works as well. Yeah, because you can install software from any distribution, you mm -hmm. can actually enter that container, may change it, blow it up, uh, and just reinitialize the container when you change something mm -hmm. which goes wrong. So, so for anyone who hasn't uh, heard of Distrobox, basically, the idea is it's a wrapper around... Why, why am I forgetting the program? Podman uh, or Docker. Thank you. Those ones. It's a <laughs> wrap around Podman or Docker, uh, which are programs to basically create, I guess you would call it like a mini distribution sort of thing. It's it basically it's a way to run an application in this container. It's a containerized distro, and Distrobox takes those uh, things from uh Docker and Podman, and integrates them more tightly into your core system than they would be out of the box. Normally, you'd use them in a server environment where you want to have them separate from the rest of your system. But in this case, they've had them been opened up a bit, so you have more access to your core system resources, and you can sort of, rather than them being really containers it's more like i guess these little frameworks that the application can sit on and it basically lets you you know in it lets you install something on arch linux for example when you're using ubuntu so you can have this aur application installed and the application thinks it's running on it, it knows it was installed on Arch, but and has everything there that Arch would have to make it run. But it's you're it's getting all of the resources from your core system to make it act like any other sort of application, and that's why something like Steam would just play like it's a 
a regular system application, I think DistroBox is a really cool project, and I'm... I, like... I, I think it's really cool that, that that showed up on the scene. Luca's done great work with that. Luca did a, a very nice work, a very polished work, because the entire project is written in a bash, mm-hmm. so it's shell scripting. But uh, he made uh, a lot uh, of functions, a lot of... Uh, of things of quality of life improvements mm-hmm. to just made uh, every container just works with your system with no time you can just uh, drop it uh, just uh, enter your container install things and everything just works perfectly mm. so, uh, f- thanks luca because it is also involved in the vanilla s uh, project so Amazing. You should probably make a podcast with him. I will get something <laughs> planned at some <laughs> the The problem is when we started talking, it was December, and you know, December is a it's a messy time to get anything like this planned. But the worst month of the year. Absolutely. Uh but something uh something will happen assuming that um schedules line up and we'll make something happen soon hopefully um but i was mentioning earlier that now that flat packs are becoming a more popular way to distribute applications immutable distros are becoming more popular but something like apex completely eliminates that need for relying just on flat packs and obviously you can use DistroBox by itself on something like Silverblue, but <clears throat> I think it would be really cool if... Like, the, the problem with DistroBox is DistroBox exposes a lot of things to the user which aren't really that important if all you're trying to do is get something running. I think something like Apex would be, it would be really cool if other immutable distros started doing something similar and using DistroBox in this package manager fashion that people are familiar with, with the way they would use a package manager on other distributions. Mm -hmm. We made uh, Apex uh, uh, distro agnostic Mm -hmm. as a purpose because uh, it can work uh, with any problem on any distribution. Mm-hmm. Like some day ago, I, probably yesterday, mm-hmm. one guy um, published it on uh, the our AUR repository. Oh, I didn't know that. So it is uh, available, yes. We don't provide support for that package because it is not in the vanilla <laughs> OS. <laughs> that makes sense, but... It is really cool. Oh, it also mentions the um the fix for X11 applications where uh in many environments GUI apps won't run because you need to share your X server with the local user. Um Thank you that someone left that comment. That's really cool that that exists on other places, and it's really cool that you made that as as a distro agnostic thing because it would, you know, you, it could just be this thing that only exists on vanilla uh, on vanilla OS, but having it be this distro agnostic thing, as I said, I do hope that other immutable distros start to use this or maybe fork the project or use something that something like this because it does eliminate that major issue that immutable distros had which is how do we install software Mm -hmm. actually also the ab root uh, software which is the one we use to make the immutability 
mm -hmm. vanilla OS is also disk uh, agnostic. Mm -hmm. So you can also use it. Uh, I tried to make uh, uh, elementary uh, Fedora, and I'm trying to do the same with Arch. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to make uh, those distributions uh, immutable using Abirut with completely zero effort because wow. it just works everywhere. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Let's make an Arch Linux immutable, which well, is probably the worst idea. 